All right, welcome to the pig area. We have done a lot of work, as you may have seen. This place, the last time it was, it did not have shade, it did not have covering of the roof. We have painted the tank black. This is also to help um, make sure that our water stays a bit on the safe side. That's the reason why we've painted the, the tank black. Then we, we, as you have noticed, I've got rid of all the the jurok that we have and now we only have large whites these large whites this one is the first one that is pregnant and we expect this one to give birth in by the end of this month but as you can see it is on the pregnant side on the heavy side so we are expecting to have some piglets before the year end and obviously i'll give you an update after it has given birth so now we only have large white so it's, this is actually an improved breed that we we have got from another farmer so as you can see they are looking very healthy on the side of making sure that we we take care of them what we then did is that we then bought two males two male so that we actually have two different breeds of fathers this is one of the males which wants to really which wants to have a close-up as you can see this is one of the males that we have here this one is the smaller one that we have and it is looking very healthy um, we make sure that it they get their enough ration of feed every every day so this is one of the males and this is the other male this is the male that is actually the bigger one and the older one that is here and if i was to tell you that this male is not even one year you would not even believe me but this is a male that is less than one year in age and as you can see very friendly willing to come close and willing to want to bite my fingers so this is one of the the male that we have so all in all we have two two males that we have here but these are all large whites then we have the second female that is also on this side and this one is in its early stages of pregnancy as you can see it has actually showing that it is in its early stages and these are all going to be giving birth for the first time and as i said these pigs are not yet even one year old as an age but um, they are already looking very healthy and looking very big for them as for pigs they are on the very big side so i'm looking forward to having our first liter of piglets which are of this new breed now you're going to ask me why do i have two males um, i had two males because i just wanted to see i wanted to make sure that by the time we started this breeding cycle we have enough we have males whereby the, we are trying to create new genetics because these two males are not from the same father they are from two different parents so when the when we have this first litter we are expecting to then cross those ones with uh, with these kids which are here we're just trying out new things getting advice from others and trying to see how best it will, it can feed into our small little piggery um why also i don't have so many pigs again market market is very difficult when you have so many pigs i believe that the numbers that i've always had have been easy for me to maintain so i plan to use those same numbers the pigs that we have on the farm be able to take care of them being able to make sure that they're well fed that they're never a time whereby you're worried about are they do they have enough food or are they starving those are the reasons why we do not carry a lot of animals or a lot of pigs because these things do give birth and imagine if i was to if i just just give a simple simple maths i have five of these of these um, pigs they give me 10 10 kids each that means i'm already at 50 kids 50 kids each kid needs let's say on average to get to the proper figures two kgs per day that means you need 100 kgs 100 kgs every day seven days that's already 700 
700 kg seven times seven times four weeks look at the figures almost over two tons of feed that you need and where are you going to get that money if you're not going to be able to make sure that all those pigs go out at the same time and again the prices are really suppressed when you look at the what people are doing and how much they're selling the the pig meat at the funny thing about it you the farmer are suppressed but in the butcher I promise you go and buy meat right now it's almost like five dollars fifty per kg just for pork so as for the farmer they're being charged less than two dollars fifty sometimes three dollars per kg so therefore you then need to be able to say to yourself where do you fit in and where are you able to to sell those chicks so I'm sorry no, now I'm thinking of chickens my brain has now become fully engrossed in chicken instead of thinking of the pork so as I say the person who takes care of the chicken is separate from the person who's responsible for the pork um, so just, this is also for them not to cross contaminate each other as possible as much as possible and um, they are living where they stay they're staying in totally two different areas so they've got minimal contact with one another so now let me take you over to the other animals that we have on the farm